Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Ward's adventure in Factorio. And this is our Let's Learn series. And basically, it's just me running around, derping about, and trying to figure this game out. So what I did off camera a little bit is I went scouting over here. And this seems like a reasonable base to hit. And then I think we'll work our way down here, here, and here, and just kind of see which of these bases are pretty bad. And why isn't there any pollution here? Do I have to go alt? Oh, okay, the alt, that's right. There we go, now I can see pollution again, which we'll have no issues whatsoever. So there's no worries at all, and these radar units seem to be doing the trick, because I want to put a radar unit out here as well, so... I think we have enough ammo. I might pick up some more here. So let's pick up a little bit of more. How far away are we from trains? What do we need for trains? We need engines. So we'll have to do we we'll do the efficiency, then we'll do the trains maybe. I want to do oil processing too. Hmm. Okay, well We'll take a look at it after once we're done. So let's see here. Let's grab a couple hundred. Okay. That should be all right. I got enough steel. Maybe grab another hundred plates. Okay, perfect. These green ones aren't being made fast enough, so I would double the production on that potentially. The red seems okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, up here. Look at this. You notice there's nothing coming down on this belt, so I think it's time to dismantle all of this. Yeah, look at that. Bye bye, so let's pick this stuff up. And look at that, so how has everyone been doing? Seems like not very many people watch this series at the moment, and well, hey, that's fine and dandy, I don't care. This gives me reason to play the game, so that's why I record. And I'm checking the clock just so I know how long. This one might be a little bit longer. Oops. But that's okay. So let's see. 8.50 on my clock. So 9.20 to finish. Okay. Half an hour. Yeah, well. I figure I want to show everything. I don't want to really edit. I'm kind of tired of editing certain things all the time. <laughs> You know, the other series I edit, or all the other series I kind of edit to make it interesting so you don't get all the boring stuff. But that usually ends up happening anyways. So let's take this. Hmm, so there's still, so this is still not going too fast, which is good. Let's go run out and check out what we can do. What can we kill? So I went this way, looks like that's some oil there. Is it oil? Probably. So I went over here just to see because there's a little coal deposit there. Oh look at that, there's even a little iron deposit here. Hmm. So yeah, see? So there's a coal deposit here. So let's get in closer. Okay. I think this is close enough. Let's start advancing forward. I think there's a way to pop these in without actually going into them. I'm going to have to take a look at that. So if I take half of this, I go control, right click. Ah! Right click. Nope. Right click picks up. Um, shift, right click. No, just control. Hey, that's weird. I wonder if there's a way of doing that without just 50%. Oh, well, we'll figure that out. Let's do this here. Control right click and maybe just put it in manually that way. Let's pick that up and that up and let's keep advancing forward slowly. Ooh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Ooh. Woo -wee. Let's repair that up. Oh, wrong button. Pick up these two. 
drop two. Right click, left click, okay. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, no, I can't. I'm gonna need to get closer first. Let's grab those two. And let's put one here, one here. Put half. Okay. Woohoo! It's getting harder. Okay. Let's put this in here. This one in here. Well, at least the turrets are doing their job. Seem to be covering everything quite nicely. We're almost close enough to smell them. Oh, we'll put 100 in there. Okay. So let's start doing some grenade damage. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> grenades are the way to go, my friends. They're they're cheap, they're easy, and they get the trick done. Oh, I'm just shooting myself. Okay, well that's okay. We need to bring the walls in, or not walls, but these guys. We'll have to bring them in closer. One there, one, one there. Yeah, we got plenty of ammo. Do that. Do that. The research is almost done, which is exciting. Okay, put one there. One there. And then, ah, uh, this is so intense. Crazy. Okay, and it's nighttime now. Now it's going to get a little bit more tricky. There we go. Now, oh, look at those guys. See those little wormies? But they're small ones, so I don't think they're that big of a problem. Okay. And now we need just need to pick up a couple of these for the big guys. Okay. 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 Okay, let's do this one. Man, these grenades. Okay, what's going on? Why is there no ammo in this one? Okay, now I gotta repair these guys. And this guy. Okay. Let's pick up a couple of these guys. One, two. Let's bring them closer. One, two. Okay. Ah, I hate when they damage. Okay. Pick up these two. Still gotta get. Ah, I think we're close enough. We're close enough. There we go, okay, both at the same time. Might as well. There we go. And that's it. This zone is done. These guys are exterminated. And I don't have this on peaceful. As you know, you did su uh, watch them. So you can highlight these, but I, I saw you could... I click on these and pick them up too, but in the control scheme, but I don't think it works that way. So this is awesome. So each one of these is basically, I think, 10 units of a certain kind of research. Purple research, which I don't have yet. 
So here we go. So we've basically secured this kind of coal. There's a little bit of copper and a little bit of iron here. I could bring the iron back on a conveyor. But maybe we'll just leave it. We see the coal here. And I think up here there's another iron deposit, I believe. If we zoom out. Yeah, see there's a little bit of iron here. Oh, okay, that's stone. Okay. Okay, so now I want to take a look at, well, let's kind of swing by this base here and see what this one looks like. We got plenty of ammo still. We got plenty of turrets. We didn't lose any because we're doing it very carefully. There's a big iron deposit here. So it means the biter base is just below. Okay. So it looks like it'll be similar to what we just killed. So let's do this again. Hopefully you don't get bored of this stuff. <laughs> okay, so we'll do this. And we'll start the intensity again. And see, I haven't really used the shotgun much. Because I've been busy kind of trying to place these guys. Trying to place them in a way that makes sense. Okay, let's pick up a couple. Uh, they're going to start coming as soon as I place... These guys. Okay, and place this one here. Repair this guy. Pick this one up. Place this one here. That one there. Put some bullets in here. And lab efficiency 2 is almost done. Exciting. They keep coming. There's a lot of them. Okay. Well, that's okay. One here. One here. Put bullets in there. Bullets in there. And here we go. Now we're going to do engine to get that done. So that way we can kind of do these other things. That one should happen pretty quickly. And let's place these guys down. One. Two. Okay. Pick up these two. Pair this guy. And let's get closer. Actually, I think we're within striking distance here. Yeah. Nice and close. Okay, let's get these turrets closer here. Okay. Let's pick these guys up. Just need those ones picked up and let's get this closer. Put this in here. Okay, perfect. Let's pick up this one. Ah, it's getting dark again. It's so annoying. Oh yeah, crap. Okay, let's uh Shoot them now. Okay, good shotgun time. So the shotgun does good against the bases. That's good. Since we're out of the grenades, but we'll be able to pick up more. I love those grenades. They're just amazing. And I think that's it. I think we took care of this trouble. There you go. There goes another whole colony of them. See, they make the aliens look like bugs anyways. Or, or not bugs, but... Just you kind of like what we are, just viruses on the planet, consuming it, 
a growing. <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. So this whole area is cleared out here now, which is nice. Which we could use for relocating our base here and bringing all the materials in the middle. But that's okay. There's this huge area down here I kind of want to check out now. Let's see if we can get through these trees here. Okay. There's some coal there. A tiny deposit of coal. Let's go down this way. Let's just see what. Ooh. See what's made up. Or do we see any big of those those big guys? I don't think so. But we need grenades. So I'm gonna head back. Look at this big coal, big copper deposit here. That's crazy. Good. And there's this base down here. Let's take a look at it before we go back. Uh, looks like same idea. Just a bunch of grenades can handle that. So we'll probably need all the grenades that are in the container. Here's some more iron. What's this? This is uh, stone. Okay, so maybe we can kind of... How far is this iron? It's actually pretty close. I could bring it in with a belt and tie it in. I guess, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what we need. Maybe create a little... I don't know. We'll check it out at some point. Okay. So let's take out this mechanism here because we don't need that anymore. Okay, and then we can kind of attach it. There we go. Let's pick this stuff up and let's just dump it into this one because it's the first one. Then we got copper that we picked up somewhere. Looks like no green research is being used or just because there's so little being made. Yeah, no, it's they're taking it. That's for sure, because as quickly as it comes down, they take it. See right there, there's another one. Huh, let's, let's click on this. Oh, okay, so they need the science pack to, to uh, okay, so I need to make more of these science packs. So this is not working. So let's upgrade it. Let's do this one. Let's just grab that and we'll craft one on hand here. I should automate the assembling machines, but that's okay. How much ammo do I have? One, two, three hundred. Okay, let's pick up. Do I have any extra shotgun ammo or just that? I thought I had more. Huh, weird. Guess not. Okay, and. Oh, I know what happened to it probably. I bet you I put it back. Uh, maybe I am making it, maybe I'm not. Or did I make it by hand? Iron plate, copper plates. Huh, okay, weird. But to make shotgun shells, I'd put it right here because the copper and the iron plates. So do I need iron plates? No, not really. I need grenades though. As many, boom, 200. So 200 we seem to go through no problem. So they might not be enough. I know we went through these defender capsules. That was near the end there how much are they to make eh. nine I'm gonna make nine of them just that way we have more and let's see do we have how's the power consumption see I don't know if these guys can do more power or not unless I guess I guess if I did the math, so what, that's, so what's a megawatt then? You know, like, the two of these would be one megawatt of power? 
Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how to how you understand this. So I just kind of watch this, and makes me wonder if I need to add more to this. So how do we do that? Well, let's add another pump. Maybe that would will solve the problem. So an offshore pump, and then we need a bunch of pipes. because we're going to put it right here and then connect it in so that way it all goes into here to bring up the water pressure okay where's that water oh it's still coming because it's making the defender capsules now it's going to make the water thing and then the pipes okay so we do that and then let's see what happens we do this like that okay look at that like that so the water pressure is is it increasing available performance performance so they're running at 50 percent okay which is good and these Eight, two, three, six hundred. So it makes it a hundred up to here, and so hopefully this will work. I'm not sure if it is, but I think it is. It just takes time, I think, for it to push through properly. I hope so, anyways. So, so what's next? I guess I can drop off my alien artifacts here. And then engine research is almost done. So let's try and, uh, I wanna tear this all down. Oh, there we go, engines are done. Ah, railways, yeah, there we go, there we go. Diesel locomotive, curve rail. Do I have to add, like, logistics? I wonder how you get, like, the carts. Hmm. Very interesting. I know I want to get like this stuff too, the shotgun. Maybe we'll do this and build up some green packs. We'll make it use up the red packs and we'll let the green packs build up here. Because I have a feeling I'm going to have to tear this all down. All of this stuff I'm going to have to tear down. And yeah that does not look like something that I would like to do not at all hmm so bear with me on this so if I was to rebuild this whole base factory mechanism how far will we extend this wall because we're gonna move this wall out or should we rebuild it up here I was thinking on this peninsula here, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I want to kind of redo how all this stuff, where all this stuff goes. Like this is okay, and this is okay, these kind of arrays, right? And so even these arrays aren't working full capacity. They're working because they're being used and we're using the ammo, we're killing the aliens, we're making the uh, the grenades, right? But I don't think there's anything else to make at this point in time. Oh yeah, no, I do have lots of shotgun shells here. So I can fill that up. And so see just basic grenades at the moment. So I think we would need to, let's see here, solar, lasers, there's laser technologies, optics and advanced electronics. Hmm. Yeah, see there's like rockets, and combat shotgun, and there's always upgrades to everything. So I think after shotgun shelf shooting speed, we'll probably do the damage. Oh, see, here we go. Here's the blue packs. So what 
do we have what we need for the blue packs now? See, I still don't see the blue packs in there. Erg, why is that? Is it because I can't do that lab efficiency? Hmm. I am actually stumped here. Unless I need to do the advanced electronics. Yeah, maybe I have to do this stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to find the blue packs. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible. So I'm learning this just as much as you are. But I guess what we were to do, if we were to repurpose a lot of these, is I'd move this array up here somewhere. That's because as it's coming in... Yeah, maybe we'll get the trains going. Because... If we go map... Because then we can have a train going... You're picking this stuff up kind of like in a loop and come back and pick up the iron here you'll pick up a little bit of iron here and, and then uh, you bring it back and you drop it off and then carry on again and do it again and just keep going round and round and round like this until eventually you know all this iron gets used up and or, or all these get depleted and so, if we were to build a wall, I would probably build a wall in between these two lakes. And then build a humongous kind of big wall here to close that, maybe. Why not, right? There's a lot of stone. There'd be a lot of tree cutting happening. So that's what we'll do, maybe. Maybe what we'll do here, the last, hopefully, few minutes here. Let's see if we can kind of do it quickly. Uh, we got lots of those. Okay, so let us. We got this stuff. We got. I wonder why I got the stone bricks in here. I don't know if I need those th that many stone bricks. How much walls do I have? I don't have very many. So let's grab these walls. And yeah, these stone bricks are going to be used, but. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm just thinking here. Well, let's do the wall project. Let's start that. So basically, we're going to bring a wall across from the corner of this area here somewhere. So probably like this. Bring it across. Let's zoom in and let's carry this on. Chop that down. Chop that down. Oh, chop that. Hmm. Nah, I won't worry about this copper too much. And we bring this way over here. And there we go. Maybe we will double it up, maybe? That way there's just that much extra defense. Yeah, okay, let's chop these trees down. Yeah, the two walls don't really make sense, but it's just that much more powerful and strong. Okay, so let's let's tear this stuff down. Maybe I'm going to do some of this wall building off camera, because it can get boring. And it'll allow a little bit of the research to happen. You know what I'm going to do with the research. I'm going to research the combatives a little bit more. You use up the red science packs. And then we'll have to think about kind of recreating. Why is this going so slow now? Oh, is that my tool? Wow. Okay, I need to rebuild another tool here. Where are we? This one right here. Steel axe. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven repair packs. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going faster. I didn't realize you would need... That's crazy. Why is this damaged? Weird. Oh, 
Oh, that one's damaged too. What the heck? And that one? From what? Why is this one almost toast? Unless I placed it here without repairing. I don't remember that. Huh. Well, let's repair that one and this one. And this one. Okay. Let's pick these turrets up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the regular bullets with me and I'm going to put the armor piercing rounds into all of these guns. Into this perimeter. Yeah, maybe I'll just put one set of, well, no, two set of walls. Just going to grab all of these bullets. Yeah, maybe the, t the, two, the set of twos overkill. I know they can still reach. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and just basically just like this. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. I know there's only a few people watching these at the moment, but hey, you never know. One day, a whole bunch of people might, and maybe not. Oh well. <laughs> well. You all have a great day, and I'll carry you on with this wall project, and I'll come back hopefully with it done, and we'll discuss what we're going to do with our base, and probably start tearing it up and re rebuilding a lot of it. So yeah, thank you everybody, and you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode.